Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tape in this mood. I'm doing another Orcs and Goblins video. This is a little Warboss tutorial on how to make your own Error Boys. So, for the Orcs and Goblins range, there are, the only way you can get Error Boys or Orcs with short bows or bows, I can't remember what they have, but they're basically Orc Bowmen. The only way to get these guys is to order them from GW. They have metal figures, which means that they come in two or three, a blister, I can't remember which, and they're, they're pretty expensive. So, I'm going to teach you a simple way of how to make your own Orc Arrow Boys using two Orc kits, which you should have already. The Orc Boys kit and the Savage Orc Infantry kit, or Savage Orc Boys kit. I think, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if the Savage Orc Boar Boys come with bows, but definitely they they come with the Savage Orc Infantry Kit. So, let's show you what you need. You need a pair of legs, a body from the Orc Boys sprue, you need two arms, and the arms that you choose need to have wristbands, on them because this is going to help hide where you're going to be cutting them off at the wrists. And you need a head. So I've decided for my Orc Arrow Boys regiment that they're all going to be wearing these skirts, these kilts, because the Orcs don't think that you should wear pants if you have to use a bow and an arrow and not a good proper orc weapon like a choppa or a spear so so all of the orc boys I'm gonna be making orc, orc arrow boys I'm gonna be making are gonna have these little pretty little skirts and they're also gonna have pretty little pretty little head headgear rather than helmets or bareheaded I guess but they're, they're all pretty much gonna look like this guy <laughs> and yeah I, I, I think this is pretty suitable and pretty orky so so the, the thing you're going to need from the orc, Savage Orc Sprue is you're going to need the left hand because the Savage Orc Boy Sprue don't come with arms. That, that would make it much easier if they did, but they, 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 their arms come cut off at the wrists. So you have to choose the left, I'm sorry, not left, the, the right hand that's holding the bow. and the left hand which is holding a couple of arrows or errors you're also going to be possibly you don't have to but if you want you can be using the quiver and you can put a quiver on their back i i didn't put one with my my test model but i'm going to put one on this next model just to show the difference that it's going to look like okay so what you're going to do is you're going to glue together the model but you're only going to glue together the the body the, the torso, the legs, and the head. You're gonna leave the arms off for now. Okay, so once you glue the body together, you're gonna put that on the side to dry, and while that's drying, you're going to cut off the arms at the wrists. So I'm pretty sure you can see where this is going. This is gonna be a pretty simple war boss tutorial, not too much of a conversion, but let's do this step by step. So I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna glue together the body, I'm gonna cut off the wrists, cut off the weapons at the wrists, and then I'm going to glue on my bow, hand and my error hand. Okay, and I'll see you when that is done. All right, just a little warning that when you are cutting these hands off at the wrists of the weapons, I, I use this huge honkin exacto knife blade, which I, I really should replace because it's all rusty, the tip broke off, but it's, you know, it's, the, it's bigger, the, it's sharp, it's just really easy to hurt yourself if you're not careful. So please be careful, especially if you're a younger hobbyist um, collector when you're doing these. But okay, here are the arms connected to the hands and I decided to turn my bow just a little bit at a jaunty angle just so it's not straight on and um, I think that'll that'll create an interesting little angle when I, when I do glue that, that arm on. So I'm gonna glue both arms onto my little orc here and as you can see I've got the quiver on his back so he's all ready for his arms so I'm gonna do that now we'll show you what he looks like when we get back and we'll finish this little video up ah, someone give me a hand ah. and there you have it an orc error boy ready for the crumping 
The great thing about Orc Arrow Boys is that they are not a dedicated, <laughs> they are not by any means a dedicated bow and arrow unit or um, ranged unit. They are just there to pelt the enemy with random arrows until the enemy can close and then do a supporting charge. At least I think so. They're, 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 they're a little bit, you know, they don't have the options of a regular orc boy. I don't want to get into points or, or any of that, but tactically, having a unit of these guys on the flanks to do a supporting charge is, you know, it could, it could turn the tide in your favor and who knows, maybe one or two of these arrows will actually get through and kill somebody, although you won't you wouldn't count on it. They're just there for visual flavor. And I just wanted to do this model, this little Warboss Tutorial conversion, just because there is no really, there's no plastic model kit out there. You have to get the metal ones and there's no real conversion options for that. They pretty much are in one singular pose. So you can have a lot of fun with this. So take care with him and have fun with him and we'll see you in the next video.